not looking forward to getting rain on. Yeah, you should get rain pants. All right, yeah. I'm here with uh, I'm here with uh, Marshall Kirkpatrick on our second interview. Exciting interview. Uh, Marshall, as we learn, is in, writes about internet and stuff. I do. Where do you spend, where, what sites are you on most? Obviously, read, write, web. That's the site that I, I co-edit, yep. Uh, I spend a lot of time on Twitter, uh, but I, I spend more peripheral attention on Twitter, probably. I have, you know, systems that pop up little Twitter messages in the corner of my screen while I'm around other places. There isn't really a single page, a single site that I spend a lot of time on. Um, yeah, I just I, I roam around and just gobble up as much information as I can subconsciously all day, and then try to have my brain like snap on stuff that looks like it warrants what, further investigation. What what what's a trigger? Like what 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 would be a, yeah, would be so, a trigger? Or something? So sometimes when I'm seeing a stream of faces go by with little messages, sometimes there's a particular face. Like, that's James Governor, open source uh, software analyst in England. He oftentimes posts really good things. I'm going to stop and look and see what he said. Uh, then there are other times when I see a company um, name mentioned. And, you know, things like uh, new products or drastic changes or bizarre cases of, of a company's technology being used out in the world. I mean, whenever... Hey, check that thing out. Wow. So whenever the words uh, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube get mentioned on any news site on the internet, I get an instant message about it. Um, <laughs> You know? <laughs> like, How exciting! Yeah, that's, well, a, that's a great, uh, yeah. Only about I, one sure. out, of, out of 300 of those is worth taking action on. Yeah. But those are, when I get to take action on those, it's really good. Interesting. Um, that's, those are good keywords. I'm going to start using those in every tweet I do. So you can see a lot more of me. Yeah. I'd love to see more of you. Um, I kind of I had this idea I was going to write about on Modi about how to how to uh, setting up a dating service for Twitter, but and I had I have a, I have a few methods of how it would actually work, and the thing is is if you can figure out a dating service for Twitter, you can also figure out um, dating doesn't just have to be a relationship thing. It can be like business or it can be like it can be it can be applied all around. You know, it can be like connection service. You know. But um, have you seen any dating services on Twitter? On Twitter? Yeah. You know, I haven't. No. I mean, I would, before I answered definitively that there hadn't been any, I would probably go and, and do a search against, I've got a list of 20 of the top blogs that review new things on the internet mm -hmm. and, uh, and have a, a custom search engine that I can search just inside those sites with. And so I would go and search for, for Twitter and dating in there and see if anyone had written anything about it before I said, no, there isn't such a thing. Where should I, um, where, where, is there a way to make money with Twitter? For, I, for I, some Joe Schmo you, like myself? Well, for Joe Schmo like yourself, I'm not sure. If you Google the phrase, paying my rent, uh, I have the number one search result uh, for an article called, Twitter is paying my rent. I just, I was just looking at that today, actually. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna see Marshall. I better read some of his articles before I see him. So you know, he thinks I, so he thinks I read his articles yeah, on a regular basis. You write a lot of stuff, so it's not like I do. Yeah, three to five articles a day. Oh my. Yeah, and and I maintain a complex web of social relationships of people trying to fake that they read them regularly. And through that, that I get enough uh, readership to sell advertisement. That's awesome. And the, to pay my rent. I try. I pay with my rent with tweets. I, I uh, look for keywords in your tweets that like will jump out at me, and a lot of times it involves you know animals or like kittens. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. <laughs> That's my tweets. You found the right yeah, one. Yeah, kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I mean, if. If it was easy to make money off of a service like this, then everybody would do it. And money wouldn't be worth anything anymore, right? So, um, that would be kind of dreamy, actually. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, if you what, could... what would you be... What else would you like to be doing? What else would I like Yeah, to... what do you... What else other... Other than, like, writing and technology and Hopes stuff. And dreams and stuff? Well, I really like ceramics. I really like the, uh... What my wife and I call the craft museum up here. Maybe I should have gone to record. The craft museum. Uh, yeah. It's one of my favorite places to go. You, uh... Yeah. Well, you saw some. You saw some of my mom's pottery. Uh, so yeah. I'll give you, I should give you some pins to take with you. I like ceramics. I like art a lot. Um, you know, but I, I do. I love writing, and I'm pretty happy to be doing that right now. How much water do you think these flip cameras can take? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. There's no. Uh... They're water. They're waterproof, right? <laughs> You're the technologist here. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the problem. Yeah, I cannot. What's the awesomest uh, technical hardware thing that you've seen? Like combination of like like a pair of scissors that like that, that kill, but only. I don't know. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm asking? That's. Uh... What's the what's the what's the, the age range of viewership on this show? Are there children involved or uh, sometimes kids watch it? All right then. Well, let me stop. Ah, <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that gives that gives most of our people an idea of what that might be. No, I don't know. Um, Does it involve USB <laughs> cables <laughs> or it's all Bluetooth now? Isn't yes, it? exactly. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. hmm. No, I I don't know. Uh, hardware. Oh, you know, I did. I saw uh, yesterday. I saw a, a picture of an iPhone with an old-fashioned gramophone. Uh, uh, oh, the ear thing. Ear thing yeah, coming yeah. out of it. That was pretty cool. It's funny because I I saw that a little while ago. I think that I follow a lot of the, uh, the art and design stuff closer than I do. Uh, sure. Pictures more than words, I guess. Yeah. You should um, summarize your each of your articles on Read Write Web with uh, one visual indicator about the whole article. So you know. people don't have to read all that. It gets so wordy, you know? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we, have, yeah, we need a... It's always helping. But then, and, you know, a lot of times you you probably get paid by the word or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so that's character. why we just keep writing more. <laughs> <laughs> then they said, um, I was thinking that... <laughs> no, we'd be in trouble if that was the case. No. Uh, we're almost back to the gallery. Yeah, uh, you know that would be great, uh, and we have considered something like that before. Actually, we've we've definitely tried to think about. Uh, it's it's super. Try to put up photos and visuals and what have you whenever we can. It's a different it's, skill set to make those though, and it's it's kind of it's hard. hard. Yeah, it's not easy. Uh huh. It's not easy. At all. Have you got any tips for how to best represent a lot of words in a small number of images? I mean, well, people have been doing that for years, obviously. Uh... Tim, what are, yeah. your, do you have what any are favorite my oh, yeah, what methods are my... or tips? You would... hmm. Well, obviously, uh... I mean, there's a number of there's a number of things you can do, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like not like, I'm, not a, I'm not a I'm not a rebus. Full, full interview intervention. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you have to understand. That. I don't know if you read the Tribune this last week, but no. I live on. A, I don't like it when people like touch my paper. No, that wasn't that wasn't cool. I live on on a crime ridden. Um, What's known to Portland as Crack Alley. Ah. That's, we just walked past Crack Alley. I kind of, yeah, I kind of so, got that impression. Yeah. And so what does that mean relative to touching cameras? It means that a lot of, a lot, there's like People users see. and dealers and stuff. Don't and so, be, yeah, they want to be, just like, I don't want to be woken up at four in the morning every night with a bunch of crack dealers smoking crack in my neighborhood. Uh, I'll send I'll send you some ideas for uh, the visual aidations. Okay. I have all the answers, but we just don't have all the time. Man. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Marshall. Thank you. That was, that was an interview. Yes, it was.